Get ready to explore as the Children's Museum of Indianapolis takes you to the Jurassic Mile. Our mission, find what nature left behind and protect it so we can search for clues to reveal what happened when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Our scientists travel to the badlands of the American West, a spot in Wyoming where mountains and an ancient seabed meet to one of the most exciting new dinosaur finds. To the naked eye, it looks like a barren land full of rocks and dirt. But to trained experts, it's a treasure trove of fossils, trackways, and preserved plant life from millions of years ago. Three extraordinary museums join together to share an amazing discovery, one that could change the world. From the University of Manchester, working with the Children's Museum of Indianapolis, are Professor Phil Manning and Dr. Victoria Edgerton. It's really exciting that this slice of Jurassic time in Wyoming is being opened up by a team of international scientists in a way that it's never been done before. And I'm really hoping that we're gonna see some things from the Jurassic that are totally new to science. I'm most excited about the fossilized plants. We don't know much about plants from this particular time period. We know that there were no flowering plants, but we do know we have conifers and ferns and ginkgos. And maybe these plants can give us a clue as to why these dinosaurs got to be so big. Top experts from around the globe are joining scientists and explorers from the Children's Museum to serve as dinosaur detectives to uncover clues from millions of years ago from the Natural History Museum in England. There are not very many places in the world where you can do field work, where you can literally step a few hundred meters and be in completely different parts of not only the time column, but also completely different environments. The most exciting thing for me about this is being able to go out to Wyoming, to a place I love. It's the center of my field area anyway, where I do a huge amount of research. And being able to spend my summer digging up dinosaurs and finding new species and seeing things that literally nobody has ever seen before. To the Naturalis Biodiversity Center in the Netherlands. One of the things I'm particularly interested in is, uh, is dinosaur tracks and dinosaur trackways because it's actually telling something that dinosaur at that specific point in time, whether they're moving in herds, gregarious behavior, and how fast did they walk, what did they do? Time travel doesn't get much better than this. These are all tiny clues that need to be added up and put in order to piece back together what happened, the crime scene as it were. More than 100 scientists are putting their expertise and brain power together to learn the answers to some of the most fascinating questions of a time long ago. Together, we are on a mission. Mission Jurassic.